hey guys welcome back today i am back with new topic and it is very fundamental topic the basic difference between rbc and wbc rbc if i elaborate is the red blood cell a red blood corpuscle wbc white blood corpuscles they have very contrasting features if i discuss about the size having a smaller size rbc 7 to 8 micrometer and wbc have the large size up to 12 micrometer Next is the fixed form. The RBC do not change their shape and uh, they are circular, biconcave and enucleated in man. And if I discuss about the WBC, the WBC can change their shape. They may be rounded, they may be somewhat large or cylindrical according to the situation. And all the WBC are nucleated. This is very common thing. Next is the occur in the blood vessel only. RBC are found only in blood vessel. They do not uh, flow in the gut or in the body cavity. They, the blood always flow in the vessels that form the closed circulatory system in the mammal and human. But the WBC can escape through the capillary when the uh, uh, infection is very large then they reach up to the infected area. And this property of squeezing out the WBC from the capillary is called diapediasis. Next is the having respiratory pigment hemoglobin, oxygen carrying, transporting, showing bohor and harden effect. And this is very important. One hemoglobin can transport eight oxygen molecules. So you know very well. It is a main promising factor for the oxygen and carbon dioxide transport. The WBC don't have this function and they lack respiratory pigment. Next is the larger, they are formed in large number in the millions. They're very much in the man and lesser amount in the female. They are in thousands, five to seven thousand. Their number increase is show infection but then they are decrease also show infection decrease in the WBC is called leukocytopenia and enhance is called a leukocytosis and the large in number of the RBC is called the polycythemia next is the they lose Organelle during formation. The precursor or progenitor cell of the RBC have the organelle, but when they are advanced, they lack all organelle, uh, non functional nucleus. And also, it is absent in many cases. The WBC retain all the organelles. They do not have any subtype in the RBC. WBC have subtype two type A granulocytes and granulocytes. Like clear a granulocyte uh, having the lymphocyte and monocyte granulocyte are eosinophil basophil neutrophil next is the from the rolex they are aggregated and from the pile like structure this is called rolex structure but they don't ever clamp next is the lifespan the RBC have 120 days lifespan and WBC has shorter lifespan up to the 4 to 7 days. Next is the RBC help in the oxygen and carbon dioxide transport but the WBC don't. They are produced by the yolk sac, liver and spleen and bone marrow and WBC are produced in the bone marrow, lymph node, spleen, tonsil, pear patches. I hope friend these fundamental differences between the WBC and RBCs will be helpful for you. If you like this brief discussion please share this video and subscribe my channel and please suggest me what type of future video you demand from me. Thank you, thank you very much.